So why is XRP up? Why has it been up actually in the last seven days at about 10 plus percent? Why? We're going to talk about the specific reason for that in this video, as well as take a look at the overall kind of price action for uh, XRP in this video. I'm almost, I've noticed that almost every time I start a video, I get an itch on the front of my face. And I'm like, when I go back and watch them occasionally, I'm like, why am I scratching my face? <laughs> You know, it is what it is. So it wouldn't be an Austin video, right? If you didn't get something like random, hey, there's the dogs barking too. Somebody must be running by the front of the house. Okay, let me make this there you go better. Okay, so why is XRP surging? Why is it up? All right, let's take a look at what is going on with um, our beloved XRP. Okay, here is what is up. So it is basically, let's take a look right here. It is up, as I said. 10.37 on the seven day and it's up 4.7 on the 24 hour in fact let me see what the top up uh token up top up token is right here render synthetics mask um you know pepe's up a little bit there's xrp okay so yeah so taking a look at xrp and then going kind of looking at the chart so let's look at the one month chart you can see right here, it kind of started started spiking. So uh, back around on the 16th, it got all the way down to, like I said, four, you know, four cents and change. And now it is, uh, I'm sorry, four cents and change, 42 cents. It Sorry, been a long day already. <laughs> four cents and change, 42 cents, Austin. And now it's at 47 cents. Okay, so it's up 10 plus percent. That would make sense, right? All right, so... Uh, why is it up? Okay, so we basically got where Ripple has scored a small win versus the SEC. Okay, uh, this is where a former defense attorney, James K. Fillon, tweeted a copy of a May 16th judgment concerning the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC. Basically, what he was saying right here, right here, Judge Torres denies the SEC's motion to seal the Hinman documents. Okay, that's been a big, big thing. So there you go. So, uh, Judge Annalena, Annalisa, I cannot talk today. Torres did not denied the SEC's motion to seal the agency's internal communications that occurred after a speech by its former chairman, William Henman, in June of 2008. In that speech, Henman argued that, argued that Ethereum's Ether token is not a security asset. Uh, judgment could push Ripple toward a legal win given its ability to prove that XRP is not a security. Okay. There you go. So again, we the winds have been blowing, at least to kind of as far as the rumblings, the the rumors, the the speculation, and that XRP, excuse me, Ripple, Ripple was going to basically win this this lawsuit. I personally think what will happen will be what I'm kind of considering to be a ceasefire, a truce, a settlement whereby there will be some document that'll come out and it'll basically say, hey, we, you know, even though we, yes, we have, we have a judge involved. I think there'll be some type of a, you know, of, of a, of a ceasefire, if you will. Now, obviously we are waiting on the judgment from uh, the judge Torres on this. Um, personally, I think everybody believes that, that X, that, that Ripple, XRP Ripple is going to come out as the winner uh, and that XRP will not be viewed as a security, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how this all plays out. But um, price of XRP moving up because of the uh, Judge Torres denying that the the Hinman uh, the Hinman documents right uh, basically not being sealed. So that's pretty good stuff. All right. So with that said, have a good one. Go make some money. We'll see.